Hello athletes, this is Coach Duckworth, and on today's quick tip, I'm going to teach you how to apply your FTP or your ramp test to Zwift. Um, on this channel, we're going to talk everything triathlon from gear reviews to training and racing strategies. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and like and comment on this video. Anyways, so you've done your FTP test or you have done a ramp test. Um, if you typically do that in Zwift, it will automatically apply it, which is great. But let's say your coach prescribes it and it's a Training Peaks workout in Zwift. Um, so if you click on the actual test, this is my actual test here. Uh, you can go on the left side and you can see your power uh, numbers. And on the right here, it's going to give you your peaks. And right here, if you take the one minute peak... Uh, this happens to be a uh, ramp test, so I'm going to take my one minute peak and I'm going to um, divide it by uh, 75. So if we take a 401, let me get back to that so you can see. If we take the 401 and we divide it by uh, 75%, then that uh, leaves me, sorry, that puts me at 300 watts uh, for my FTP. Uh, we, we do the ramp test. It's just less stressful. It's still freaking hard, but um, it's still a lot less stressful, and I'll be able to work out tomorrow without a problem. Um, so what you do now is you go into Zwift. So it's going to take its time to load up here, so I'm going to fast forward. Okay, now that uh, Zwift is pulled up, we're going to skip this. Okay, first way you can do it is you can go into your training and you can change it over here with this little graph right here. Okay, boom. So I had it at 320 before. I'm going to just uh, leave it there. You can um, change it down here also. And let's just say, okay, I've changed it now and we're good to go. But let's say you forget. Let's say you click the ride button and you're like, crap, I forgot to apply my FTP. No stress. Go down to menu. Go over to workouts and you can change it here. Ta-da! That's another quick tip from Coach Duckworth. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. And remember to please subscribe to this channel. Have a great day and happy training.